remember the TV game show, Let's Make a Deal? I know most of you are way too young to remember this, so I'll tell you about it. The audience of this show are all potential contestants dressed in crazy costumes to hopefully increase their chance of being chosen to play. If chosen, the contestant can trade something small for a chance to win a bigger prize. The finale is called The Big Deal. The winner may trade their winnings for door number one, door number two, or door number three. Behind one of those doors is a really great prize, like an all expense paid vacation to Hawaii, or a brand new Cadillac, or a lot of cash. But what's behind the other two doors? Well, perhaps a live goat or a lifetime supply of cornflakes. Did you ever watch this show and play along? I remember trying to guess which door was the grand prize and then always choosing the wrong door. Good thing I was never actually on the show or I'd still be eating cornflakes. And thank God we don't have to go through life as if it is a guessing game. There is only one door. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, breathe on us. Melt our hard hearts and open our closed minds to receive your life-giving, soul-reviving word. Illumine our understanding of your timeless truth and teach us anew. We pray in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 1 through 10. Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the door but climbs in by another way is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The doorkeeper opens the door for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the door for the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief only comes to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus teaches us about who he is by painting pictures, living images from everyday life like, I am the bread of life, or I am the light of the world, and I am the great shepherd of the sheep. Whenever Jesus says, I am, he is claiming his divinity by using God's name. I am the God who was, who is, and always will be, the one triune and eternal God. And now Jesus says, I am the door. Or some translations say, I am the gate. Now I'm just guessing the place where you live has at least one door and likely a few more. This church building has an amazing amount of doors, 92 in fact. Many of them are really old, unique, and beautiful. The purpose of a door, of course, is the way to enter. Doors provide the way to go in and to go out. Jesus uses this beautiful illustration of shepherds, sheep, and sheepfolds to explain he is the way to a full and meaningful life. Jesus makes his point by describing two kinds of sheepfolds. The first kind of sheepfold Jesus talks about is a shared sheepfold in the village. After grazing in the fields all day, shepherds lead their sheep to a place of safekeeping during the night. This fold has a strong door with a lock. Apparently, 
thieves are a prob problem, and so a doorkeeper keeps the valuable sheep safe. Only the shepherd, known by the doorkeeper, is allowed to enter this kind of sheepfold. Imagine this large enclosure full of sheep owned by several shepherds. Early in the morning, the shepherds arrive to lead their sheep out to pasture. How will the shepherds find their own sheep? Well, the sheep recognize the shepherd's call. They know his voice. Back in the old days when children were allowed to play outdoors, my father would call us inside with a whistle. It wasn't just any whistle. It was our very own, it's time to get home right now, whistle. We knew it was dad and we knew he meant business. In ancient Israel, sheep were kept mostly for their wool, meaning the sheep are under the care of the sh shepherd every day for many years. The shepherd knows his own and names them. The shepherd knows Willie is the one likely to wander. Francis is the fearful one, and Fred is the one likely to fall into a ditch. The shepherd knows his sheep, and the sheep know the shepherd. The second kind of sheepfold is far from the village. During the warmer months, the shepherd takes the sheep away to find pasture. Because he is away for many weeks, he uses a cave for a sheepfold, or an open space surrounded by stone walls or branches. Whatever kind of enclosure it is, the sheepfold has only one opening. There is only one way to enter and exit the fold. Once the shepherd has all the sheep safely inside the, sh the sheepfold, he lays down across the opening for the night. The shepherd literally becomes the door. Any predator or thief trying to enter to get past the shepherd has to get past the shepherd, and the shepherd willingly puts his life at risk to protect the sheep. Do you understand what Jesus is saying? Since the beginning of his ministry, folks reject the way of Jesus. Political and religious zealots in the first century not only denied Christ Jesus, they were also openly hostile to his followers. And it's the same today. When Jesus warns his followers to beware of thieves and robbers, he's not talking about someone breaking into your home and stealing your big screen TV. A thief is anyone or anything that separates you from the way of Jesus. Jesus warns us to watch out for threats and predators stealing you away from God's flock, robbing you of God's perfect peace, destroying the kind of life you were created to live. Remember, there is only one door. Why do we act as if there are more? Prone to wander, we nibble this way and that, anxiously trying to figure out what to do and where to go on our own instead of following the way of Jesus. Jesus is not only the door, he is also the great shepherd of the sheep, knowing everything about us. Some years ago, while traveling together as a family, we stopped the car to admire a beautiful flock of sheep in the countryside. Our young daughter was determined to pet one of the adorable lambs, but soon found out the sheep run away from strangers. The sheep did not know her voice. Jesus says, he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. After he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them and they follow him because they recognize his voice. They won't follow a stranger. They will run from him because... They don't recognize his voice. Do you hear Jesus calling your name? Do you recognize his voice? Willie, my wandering lamb, I am the door. There is only one way to salvation, and that is through Jesus. Francis, my fearful one, I am the door. You have no need to fear. 
You are safe in the sheepfold of my love, guarded with my life. Fred, always falling, falling in a ditch, I am the door. The door opens two ways, you know. Through me, the door is closed to your old life of failure, guilt, and pain. Allow me to keep you from falling. Follow me. And here's the bottom line. Jesus reminds us why he came to earth, saying, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Life isn't about finding yourself or making your mark in the world. or Life is not some never-ending pursuit of self-fulfillment. It's about discovering the door, the way of the good shepherd, the secret to a full and meaningful life. Is your life full and meaningful? Are we so intent looking for greener grass, nibbling things we think will satisfy us, that we miss where our shepherd is trying to lead us? I know many of you are suffering right now, struggling with health issues or grieving the loss of loved ones and jobs. You may be overwhelmed with isolation and loneliness. Perhaps you are disappointed about long hoped for plans now canceled. The uncertainty of these days may have you feeling lost. And so the word of the Lord comes at just the right time as we seek to find our way. Sheep don't worry or fear when they know the shepherd. Sheep are able to lie down and rest, secure in the pastures of his presence, even in the midst of predators. There is really only one big deal choice that matters. There is only one door, one way to go. Do you hear Jesus calling your name? Jesus promises to gently lead you by walking ahead and showing you the way. Will you say yes to door number one, the only door to an abundantly full and meaningful life?